All right, so we're doing this new thing called Psychic Chat. Uh, we're talking about the things we talk about on air during Psychic Tuesdays, off the air to continue our conversation. Now, today's conversation is about expectations and relationships. What expectations we should have or shouldn't have. Um, Samantha's going to break down the first five that we already talked about on the air, and then we're going to continue our discussion off the, right. the rest of it. So, Sam, go ahead and break it down for okay. us. So we have expectations and relationships for various reasons. We have the expectation and desire for emotional fulfillment. People often enter the relationship seeking emotional connection, support, intimacy. They may have expectations around their partner that will meet their emotional needs and provide them with love and care, right? Yes. Number two would be the sense of security and stability. Expectations in a relationship can stem from the desire for security right. and stability. Yes. Okay, number three... Um, the expectation that you guys will have shared values or shared goals. I think that that's something that's kind of, it's hard to say because who doesn't want to have shared like right. values, yeah. goals? That's uh, the reason why you start dating someone a lot right. of times because you have those common interests. And so you're thinking that this person wants to do these things with you. You start to share those things to, to move forward. Right. But see, having the expectation is expecting the partner to share those beliefs or ambitions or lifestyle preferences in order to build fulfilling harm, harmonious relationships when we get ahead of ourselves sometimes mm -hmm. and then we assume people are just not having the conversations they need to have right. with what do you expect from a relationship or what are your expectations of a relationship? I think people are scared to have those conversations because they're they're thinking that if this person is not exactly how I want them to be, like in that box, mm -hmm. then they're not the right person from it or they're ready to run away or right. they want to push those, like project those expectations onto them. Right. Dating now in 2024 is really hard because people are so quick to discard one another yeah. and they don't want to really sit and talk about these things everybody's chasing lust instead of actual love. love okay because love is way different than lust and people think that the lust once the lust goes away well i fell out of love with them and that probably wasn't even love love was never there right so number four would be the communication and understanding expectations around communication and understanding are common in relationships mm -hmm. because people expect their partner to listen to them communicate openly and honestly and show empathy and understanding in time of need and sometimes People do not know how to give you what you expect them to give you. Wow. Uh, let's go back to the love versus lust, though. And, uh, you know, when we talk about these things, I don't even think people understand what, what comes in when you're falling in love and those expectations at the same time. Yeah. And so when you're thinking that you're falling in love with this person and it's really just lust, how do you... Well, it's a dopamine chase. Okay. So people are chasing dopamine because... Who doesn't want to feel that? Right. What human doesn't like the feeling of being excited about another person mm -hmm. and being wrapped up in what could be and the fantasy and the dreams and inspirations that come when meeting this new person, especially because it's so hard to meet people. Right. Especially these days. Yeah. And people that you actually are attracted to and people that you um see yourself with right it's hard yeah and what makes it even harder is that people go around with a mask Ooh, yes people are masking so yeah. they're not really giving you who they really are and then the mask falls off and you're sitting there scratching your head saying what what happened when did this change what what did i do and then you want to self-blame relationships as a whole are very hard because people don't know how to actually have relationships because they failed to have a relationship with themselves and i also think too in that in that um same regard is that they never seen a good relationship in front of them i can honestly say that a lot of my relationships have gone to shit because i never really seen a good relationship in front of me my parents they split up when i was four divorced when i was eight and the last good relationship i thought i saw in front of me that i thought was goals was my uncle and his wife then that come to find out that wasn't real either Right. She was actually the side chick that became the wife. Right. So, like, it's like, how how do you get your, I guess, you, everybody has expectations. You, you want to find that perfect partner, but how do you steer away from what you think things should be and actually accepting how things are? Well, people need to start talking. And how do we have those conversations? Because people don't like to talk either. Right. So you have to you have to tell yourself, like, what am I going to lose? Mm -hmm. I'm going to sit. I'm going to have dinner with this person. It's been going well. I'm going to say, hey, 
I want kids. Right. I want marriage. Mm-hmm. I want X, Y, and Z. Right. I want the bells and whistles. Yeah. And if that person is like, uh, I'm just kind of hesitant with that, then you need to get the strength within yourself to say, okay, this person is telling me that they don't really see themselves having that. I can't lay those expectations or love them into wanting to have that with me. Right. And that's what we do is we're like, oh, you're so pretty. You're so wonderful. I want you. I want you to want the same things as me. Right. Because that's what's happening in all of these dating situations or situationships is people are basing a feeling. It's a a dopamine chase, but they're basing their whole relationship off of that chase and that feeling and that moment and that momentum Mm -hmm. that they're not really understanding what a real relationship could be. It's a partnership. It's two people, Mm -hmm. two very different people that come together and naturally with no force and no intention to force anything Mm -hmm. have similarities. I get what you're saying. I can totally understand that, especially now as a almost 40 year old woman, I can definitely understand more (laughs) about these things. And we were talking about expectations versus standards too, because I think a lot of people put their standards and think that that's their expectation. Right. Well, that's where it's like a fine line because it's good for people to have moral standards Mm -hmm. and to have their foot down on what they want. Right. But an expectation is sitting here with a stranger and expecting them to give all of that Mm -hmm. when they are telling you, I can't give you that. And you're like, oh, one day you will. You'll change your mind. You'll want it. I'll love you. I'll love you past all your pain, baby. Mm. Why are you calling me out? I've done that, too. You know what? These relationships are just shitty and I'm tired of it. (laughs) Asexual. I'm tired of this, Grandpa. (laughs) Exactly. Well, too damn bad. I'm going to become a nun. No, you're not. (laughs) You was lying to me in cursive. <laughs> Don't treat me like that. Okay, you can give us give us two more two more of those expectations. All right. So there's fulfillment of needs and desires. So individuals may have expectation around having their needs and desires met in this relationship. This could c- include expectations around physical intimacy, shared activities, quality time together, support during challenging times. So standards are. I need a partner that is going to be there for me in my difficulty. I need a partner who is going to communicate with me properly. Mm -hmm. Expectation is, well, they better communicate with me because it's what I need. Ah, I'm glad you broke it down like that because probably even me. But a lot of people are going to still wonder, well, what does she mean by that? That makes a lot more sense. Yeah. And there's the past experiences And beliefs, because expectations in relationships can also influence by past experiences, upbringing, cultural norms, the society influences, the factors can shape how individuals perceive and Mm -hmm. approach relationships leading to specific expectations. While having expectations in relationships is normal and can have, um, can help guide a healthy interaction, it's important for individuals to communicate openly with their partner what their expectations are, what their standards are, what they want, and be clear about it. Oh, and just be about receptive and be receptive towards your partner's expectations too. Because mm-hmm. a lot of us are one sided people. Yeah. We're sitting here on the high horse of you need to meet my expectations without even understanding that that person has their own expectations. Right. That's where communication comes into play and being a good communicator and actually being honest about what you're looking for when you're starting to look at this person or wanting to date this person. That's why conflicts happen and then people say, we just fell out of love, we just grew apart, is because usually in every relationship there's one person who is like, oh, I have dreams, I have goals, and it's usually a man that's like, I want this and I want that and I want that. Mm-hmm. And a woman's like, I'll, I'll make sure you have all of that because I love you and I'm going to love you until you get that. And then they lose themselves. And then and then the man ends up leaving that woman because she didn't have a mind of her own individuality. She didn't have anything to show mm. that she sets apart from she needs him. Wow. Well, Sam, it's always a great conversation, no matter what uh, psychic chat. I love this. We're going to keep this going and uh, let people know where they can book you. They can follow you, all that good stuff. You can find me on sacredmoon.org. So uh, S-A-K-R-I-D-M-O-O-N.org. Or you can find me on Instagram, sacred.moon. Oh. It's all the same. All right. Make sure you book with her. I know you want some more conversation about this uh she'll be back next tuesday peace out peace out Bye. way of showing it mm, it is it is truly heartbreaking i know this is not the last we have heard of prince harry and his family drama but we're gonna move on to riri